Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Martin from Voyager Project here. Um, in my last video I talked about putting together a sort of small but fairly comprehensive MIDI switched pedal board um, and then it occurred to me that sometimes you need a small board um, sometimes you don't need fancy MIDI switching and stuff and a lot of people you know, okay so it's fairly affordable gear, the IJM stuff but it's still, you know, for someone who's just playing a few gigs here and there um, yeah, maybe that's just something that's out of your budget or whatever. So I thought, well, let's put together another board. Um, and this one really is on a budget. Okay, here we have, well, let's turn it that way first. That's an off cut of MDF. Um, just standard 12mm MDF from a project that I was doing um, a few months ago. I had this kicking around. So. I thought I'd use it, I thought it was probably about the right size to put five pedals on there. Um, so I was thinking, oh, what can I do? I've got some spare pedals that aren't on either of my big boards. Uh, I want something that's pretty versatile for you know, when I'm just going out to do a couple of songs or something, be it a, a, a church thing or a school assembly or a small gig or you know, even if, if, particularly if I was to sit in on a gig or something like that, I wouldn't want to take a big board. So. Um, what did I do? Well, the first thing uh, was I wasn't going to be lugging around a big, isolated, chunky, heavy power supply. I wanted something that was light, that had five pedals on, um, had a bit of modulation, a delay, and a couple of drive pedals. So, power-wise, I went, I've gone for, uh, I'll show you the board. There we go, there's the board as I've, that I've created. Um, You'll notice that there's the TC Corona Chorus, uh, which was on the other board. Um, I've taken it off because I've decided to just do something else with that output stage of that. But I'll come to that in my next video on, on the big board. Um, MXR Carbon Copy Delay. This isn't very easy to hold. Um, I had two of them, so that was fine. Um, TC Electronic Spark Booster, uh, which is just a, a basic clean boost or a mid boost or a kind of low end thunk boost kind of pedal. Got a little bit of drive to it. Um, maybe I wouldn't have bought it myself but I got it free so I'm not going to complain at that. This is my trusty uh, Keeley modded BS1 Ultra. Um, so it's built boss tough but it's been improved internally. The circuitry has been uh, modded to um, Give it a much sort of cleaner, a clearer sound, much more dynamic. Um, change the knobs, put a really bright blue LED on, and a little switch to switch between two different modes. Um, great distortion pedal. I run it fairly low gain, but it's, um, yeah, it's it's really versatile. And finally, the the pedal that going to first to plug in. I thought, well, a lot of the stuff I do, I'm playing reasonably straight, simple stuff, um, but a lot of it has that kind of or has the potential to need that kind of Van Halen vibe. So my Eddie Van Halen Phase 90 from MXR. Um, so there we go. I've got a Diago power station. Uh, Diago is a British company that make these switch mode power supplies. It's only 9 volts, um, single output, but it's really small and light. You can see it's smaller than a pedal. just runs off a standard figure 8 um, 2 pin lead. Same as you might have, uh, I don't know, an old um, cassette player or something like that. Um, so I've got my camcorders also use those, so I've got plenty of those kicking around, including one really long one, which is great for gigs. And then they're just daisy chained, and I even have a spare tail, um, which if it wasn't wrapped around the phaser, I could pull out. So if I want to stick a wire pedal on the floor next to my board, I can power that as well like a crybaby or something along those lines. So in terms of actually putting the board together, what did I use? Well it's wired up um, with nitrate jacks and they are these are the black versions of the NP2RX jack. I think it's the NP2RX BAG or something like that. Um, they're standard mono nitrate jack. I was a little bit fancy. I've gone for Megami cable for these patch leads. Um, it's Megami 2319, if that means anything to you. Um, 
And you might think, Megami, that's expensive for what's supposed to be a budget board. But I wanted something really reliable, something that sounded great. And I've used less than two feet of cable on this board. Um, you see, we've just got four patch leads, and they're all really short. So um, I just had a couple of old patch leads that I'd acquired from from somewhere. I'd sort of salvaged them. Um, now that they may not have even been complete leads, but I managed to cut four six inch lengths of cable or thereabouts, solder a jack on each end. The whole thing took me 20 minutes. Um, pedals mounted onto the board with 3M dual lock. Again, it's not cheap to buy, but I use less than half a metre of that, so that's about four pounds worth of that. Um, and that's, that's the entire thing. It'll, as you'd expect, anything on dual lock, you can hold the board upside down and shake it and nothing even moves. Um, now I haven't got my amp rig at home at the moment, um, that's, that's up at the church, so I can't actually go through what this sounds like. Um, I have tried it out just to make sure everything's uh, happy just through a practice amp, um, but I wouldn't wish that sound on anyone, not because of the sound of the pedals, but just because of the sound of the amp itself. Uh, it's a little 12 watt laney that I use for lessons and um, I think it cost me about £40. So, okay, we've probably got, what, 500 quid's worth of pedals here, but you can sort of put any pedals in that you've got, um, and you've got lying around, everyone has their favourite distortion pedal, their favourite delay. Um, you know, I just went for a, a basic set of pedals. I can still run out to 2 amps because I've got the stereo outputs on the Corona. Um, I can plug a wire in the front end. But this is the sort of thing I could take out to any gig, just plug in, now it'll work. Um, yeah, just be completely flexible with it. Um, to be honest, I will probably leave this at church most of the time now, um, because it's, it saves me leaving my big board there or carrying my big board around, um, and it'll cover pretty much what I need for the bulk of the stuff I, I do there. It's also good for, as I say, taking out to lessons or taking out to, to schools when I'm playing out there. Anything that just needs a small, lightweight board, and it is lightweight, it's not like the other boards that I had. Um, MDF's reasonably thin, reasonably tough, reasonably lightweight. Um, five pedals, power supply, two feet of cable, um, probably about a foot or so of dual lock. Job done. Started it this morning, finished it this morning. Showing it to you early this afternoon. Um, sort of thing anyone can do. Okay, it's maybe not as neat, maybe not as cool as having all the cool fancy MIDI switching gear, but I just want something basic. Yeah, I would just encourage you to find a piece of, of MDF or a piece of board or an old shelf or anything like that and just put something together. It's good fun, it doesn't take long, and it really and it sort of opens up your flexibility. Okay, hope that's been useful to you. Uh, so when the cable comes in the next couple of days and I'll get the, the um, medium board wired up, then um, I will continue that series. But until then, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.